Example four, we're working with sigma notation. So you need to know how to read this notation. And I'm going to start with four and end with 14. And I, I can find the first term because I'm also given the formula for a general term in this series. So to find the sum of the series, let's just start out by finding the first term because we know we're going to need that. So a sub 1, we're going to begin with 4. So the first term, n is going to equal 4. So it's 2 times 4 minus 3. a sub 1 equals 8 minus 3. So the first term is going to be equal to 5. Now, recall that we have two formulas that we can use to find the sum. We have one formula that involves knowing the common difference. We have another formula that requires us to know the first term and the last term. I found the first term. Since I know that for the last term, n equals 14, I can find that as well. And what that means is that I can use this formula, that the sum of the series is going to be equal to n divided by 2 times the first term plus the last term. Therefore, let me find the last term. a sub n equals 2 times 14 minus 3. This is going to give me a sub n equals 28 minus 3, so the last term equals 25. Now, what is n? Well, this is telling me that the number of terms, I would have to take each number from 4 through 14 inclusive. And if you figure that out, that's actually 11 terms because you're including 14. So starting with 4, going up through 14, there's actually 11 terms. So n equals 11. So it's really a sub 11 equals 25. So I'm asked to find the sum of these 11 terms. And I can do that now because I know that I have n equals 11 divided by 2. And then I'm going to get the first term. That's 5 plus the last term, which is 25. So the sum is 11 divided by 2 times 5 plus 25 is 30. Therefore, this cancels. I'm going to get 11 times 15, and that's simply 165. Okay, so in sigma notation, this gives me a lot of information because I saw that I knew the formula for, to find a particular term, and I knew the n for the first term and the n for the last term. So I knew I could use this formula because I could find the first and last terms. So I made n equal to 4 to find the first term, which is 5. I made n equal to 14, which is to find, help me find the last term, which is 25. And then I knew that since it was going from 4 to 14, that n is equal to 11. Once I had first term, last term, and n, it was just a matter of calculating the sum, which was 165. That finishes up. Today's lesson on arithmetic series. Thanks for visiting Educate.